Seventh grade, it's week 12, and we're talking about the layers of the Earth. You should be able to demonstrate your knowledge of the Earth's crust following this presentation. What do these two photos have in common? Well, both these photos are of the Earth's crust. The crust on the left is on the continent. It's what you see when you walk around every day. The crust on the right is in the ocean. You may have seen pictures, but chances are you've not actually seen the crust in the ocean unless you have special equipment like, say, a submarine. The crust, mantle, core, each differ from one another in chemical composition. It's understandable that scientists know the most about the crust and less about deeper layers. The Earth's crust is a thin, brittle, brittle outer shell. The crust is made of rock. This layer is thinner under the oceans and much thicker in mountain ranges. There are two types of crust. There's oceanic crust, and it is made of basalt lavas that flow onto the sea floor. It's relatively thin, between five and 12 kilometers thick. That's still three to eight miles. The rocks of the oceanic crust are denser, three grams per cubic centimeter than rocks that make up the continents. Thick layers of mud cover much of the ocean floor. Continental crust is much thicker than oceanic crust. It is 35 kilometers or about 22 miles thick on the average, but it varies a lot. Continental crust is made up of many different types of rocks. All three major rock types, igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary, are found in the crust. On average, continental crust is much less dense, 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter, than oceanic crust. Since it is less dense, it rises higher above the mantle than oceanic crust. So in summary, oceanic crust is thinner and denser than continental crust. Oceanic crust is darker in color and denser or more mophic. Continental crust is lighter in color and, dense, and density or they are more felsic. Earth's crust is very thin relative to Earth's radius. If you were to take a basketball and gently spray paint the outside of that basketball, the paint would represent the crust of the earth. So, what can you tell me about the earth's crust? Do you feel confident in your knowledge? If not, feel free to go back to the video one more time. If you're ready, move on to the activities that follow. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you later.